The Grafton Taylor County Health Department invited City Council and County Commission to participate in a walkthrough of its new health department today. Michaela Schiller was also there and has more details on the new building. Jeff Eisner, chair for the Taylor County Board of Health, joined the board around eight years ago. One of his first meetings included a building design in which this new department has been an idea for that long. While the new building took almost 10 months to build, Eisner told 12 News what he expects to see out of the new building. The state mandates that there be a health department and uh, the public service and the public trust that we try to carry forward, I think shown greatly during the past Four years with the COVID pandemic, I think uh, the Grafton Taylor County Health Department, in its partnership with the City Council, the County Commission, and all of our other partners, the Grafton City Hospital, we kind of shining star in the county during the pandemic, and I think we can just carry it forward now with this new building. According to the board chair, the old building was unserviceable. The new building is modernized, fully functional, and staffed has two exam rooms as well as a training room to hold 38 people if needed. However, there is still more work to be done. This is just phase one. The building is phase one. In phase two, uh, the old health department, which is next door, will be torn down and we will have actually a drive through access for uh, outdoor clinics whenever we need to run them like we did for COVID. So, you know, it's it's built for the future. The staff will be inside the building and fully functional by March 15th and hope to be open by the week of March 20th. There is also a new website for the health department that residents can make payments through. Eisner would like to thank everyone who has helped get the building into shape, whether it be through construction, funding, helping with side tasks, and overall the support. I'm Michaela Schindler reporting for 12 News in Grafton.